ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann. You've clicked onto the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 13th day of January. And once again, the weather headline is the cold air blowing in here. In coming days, phase one arrives today. Let's check out some sky cam shots. A couple of images I captured yesterday. And you know, I missed... The best part of this sunset here, that's Demopolis. And uh, uh, at one point, that sky was just glowing pink. Uh, the sun was going down over the Tom Bigby that is 12 feet above flood stage. The river is in big-time flood, but levels are now slowly falling at Demopolis. Of course, all that water goes down here. And again, uh, there was a great sunset going on, and I missed the best part of it. That's the Gulf Shore sky cam uh, captured yesterday. Early this morning, downtown Birmingham, cold out there, some high clouds around. Uh, temperatures mostly in the mid to upper 20s. And yeah, here comes the first phase of the cold air shot. Water vapor satellite imagery showing a strong trough that'll be rolling through here today with clouds and maybe a few sprinkles or flurries, but the uh, cold air is going to be the story. And yeah, buddy, check it out. Uh, up north, you've got temperatures colder than 25 below zero now, down into Minnesota and North Dakota as the big Arctic dump begins. And remember now, the coldest air will be here on uh, Thursday and Friday. This is just the beginning of it today. Now, the uh, blizzard warnings have all been uh, retired up north. We've still got winter weather advisories from the Dakotas into uh, parts of interior New England. Now, they'll see increasing snow again on Thursday in wind with this next shot up there. But for now, uh, they're just trying to dig out from yesterday's big snow around Chicago and Detroit, places like that. Things have calmed down somewhat this morning. And the overall precipitation uh, around the nation this morning, pretty good rains falling down there around the Florida Big Bend, uh, Tallahassee, back up to Jacksonville and Brunswick. And we note that little band of snow uh, to the north and some uh, Mixed precipitation down into Tennessee. There's a look at the Columbus, Mississippi next rad this morning at 5 o'clock. And you can see uh, uh, something there just to the uh, northwest of the shoals. And uh, some of that not reaching the ground. But inevitably, we are still going to mention at least the chance of a few flurries or sprinkles this morning with that strong upper trough rotating through here. No, there's not much moisture, but uh, some folks could see that. But again, the cold is the big story. QPF chart expected uh, precipitation for the next five days, valid through Saturday evening, showing nothing of any measurable precipitation here. And of course, all that up north will be in the form of snow. Look at the GFS. This is the 12Z, I'm sorry, the OZ run, valid at noon today. Strong trough rotating through here. And uh, again, that's some strong forcing there, but uh, no moisture means nothing more than sprinkles or flurries. Cold air advection is the story. Uh, temperatures today will really struggle to get out of the 30s once that north wind kicks in. And again, it's going to feel even colder, kind of reminiscent of Sunday, maybe even feeling colder than that. The actual temperature might reach the low 40s, but it's going to be a pretty raw and blustery day today. Now, tomorrow uh, we'll be in between. Uh, we'll be up in the uh, 40s with a good deal of sunshine, the wind not that bad. So, you know, that that's a pretty decent day there. But here comes Thursday, and that's a classic delivery mechanism for Arctic air. Down at the surface, a 1,044 millibar high between Omaha and Des Moines. And uh, we think uh, we'll be below freezing much of the day. The wind chill index in the single digits reaching zero at times. That's going to hurt. And again, if you're outside, uh, you better be careful there. That, uh, if you're exposed to that kind of weather, that's pretty tough. Now, Friday morning, we think the bottom drops out. Surface high right on top of us. We think most lows will be somewhere between 10 and 15. But you all know the range will be huge with the terrain around here. We think the colder valleys, 4 to 9. Ridge tops, upper teens. But uh, wherever you are, it will be the coldest morning of the season, rivaling the cold we had in early January last year when Birmingham got down to 13. We're forecasting 12 at that airport location, so uh, it could be colder than that. And then Saturday now, it's going to be cold Saturday morning. I think we go back in the teens, but we'll begin to warm up Saturday with highs back in the 40s. And then Sunday, look at that strong Vortmax rolling down through Memphis yeah, and uh, that should squeeze out a little light precipitation. 
And uh, again, the models continue to hint at the possibility of some light rain or some light snow on Sunday, and we'll maintain that in the forecast. Uh, we won't go overboard with it because it looks like the moisture is going to be awfully limited. But uh, once we get a few days under our belt here, we can take a closer look at that for any possible changes. And then Monday, we've still got uh, strong vorticity coming through the Tennessee Valley. And that hints at uh, maybe some light snow for Tennessee in the extreme Tennessee Valley of North Alabama. So Monday still looks pretty cold. And then uh, Tuesday of next week still looks pretty cold with the surface low rolling up the uh, eastern seaboard. So temperature is going to stay uh, below average on through uh, Tuesday of next week. But we do think we'll moderate uh, after that. And here's a look at the end of the forecast on the 28th of January. That's an interesting pattern. Uh, polar uh, jet up north and that uh, strong low uh, off to the uh, west of Los Angeles in an active southern stream. Uh, it'll be interesting to watch that thing unfold. But that suggests kind of wet weather down and through here with cold air to the north. And again, we've seen a lot of looks out there as always. We're just peaking out there on day 16. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, alabamawx.com. If you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.